Night and day back again. I'm back in New yes, we are back. Back in the world of The Walking Dead. Wow, oh, man. I would have yeah. let David kill him. <laughs> they killed David's daughter. Yeah, yeah, honestly. I mean, I would have probably, yeah, let David have the Where's final Lonnie? blow on the, um, he um, gave us the slip. Badger or whatever. It back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. I mean, those two were the ones who were most involved. Hmm. What about the other two? It seemed like, yeah, Max was kind of the oh. one supposed to be in charge of the smaller fleet, what? but... It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that not. make yeah, you I feel better? Yes! I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. Yes, yes it did. <laughs> yeah. Damn right it did. Bastard he deserved killed everything Mariana. he got. He killed marinara he killed sauce. Bobby. Act like a beast. You risk what makes you human. Don't uh, become the thing you hate. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. Yeah, exactly. We I'm abandoned sure you when you we drove right off thing. with our family, so... Sometimes there's just no other <laughs> so way So you to understand what we're talking about. Yeah, no my one trusts us crowbar to someone more than wants. Clem. <laughs> my people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home. Murderers' or... lives aren't high on so our that's list what of I'm priorities. Gonna do. Yeah. Sooner the better. You're going alone? You sure you'll be okay on your own? To be honest, I think my odds are better than yours. I won't forget about you. You have my word. Okay. It's a shit storm out Thanks. There, man. Oh, thanks. Let's <laughs> see how you're yeah. gonna make it. One step at a time. Thanks for having a memory. <laughs> we need to get back to Richmond. Fast. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I have loved ones in there. We both do. <laughs> we all do. Well, I love, like, Jesus's like facial expression when he was like, "Oh, thanks I... for caring about me." I'm gonna He's tell like her how smiling, and then immediately went back to being angry at us and <laughs> killing that guy. <laughs> You're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingarding. Yeah, Clinton, he just did a 180 men. twice in a row. Yeah, does, for sure. Maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. I got you, brother. I yeah, I got you, brother. Of course, David. They're You're trying to put these guys at odds so hard. I never forgot that. They're like, even if you did, really going the extra mile. I'm glad to hear that, Javi. Maybe I mean, yeah, I, I could see why there's there's a lot of distrust between, them, especially like the if thing Lonnie with Clem or whatever. Alarm, but be waiting for us at the gates. It's like this is bigger There's than what that, back like what that beef is, I think. Right. We can take Badger's truck. I it's like your even Clem's thing it was like she we broke got, the rules and they the kicked move. her out. It wasn't like they Herb's backstabbed closer. her and betrayed her or anything like that. Yeah, it was it was rough for sure that they took the kid away from her or whatever. Yeah, that's the but, that's the controversial. Yeah, that's part. that's the yeah controversial. It's like definitely, definitely. Uh, a rough thing to do to somebody it's like it's cruel but if he has a better chance of survival that's also another thing it's like makes sense but now we have to find out what happened to him like where he is now kind of thing yeah that was the part that was like kind of contrived like would they have mm. ever made that call why would the group say aj is ours like that just up. Group this big right. can't exactly if, if they're around, that like particularly if they're expecting like us. hard on somewhere. resources as well like I'm a kid is going to take a lot of resources brought her to the clinic That's it your would best be bet. best to if you not your problem if your Javi, number one thing is survival then but, bring them to my house it's the one with the raven yeah, on the odd. hitching post we'll all meet up there after i pay a little visit to joan stay out of sight let's they'll be keeping together. an eye out for us yeah i think that's a better call it's safer if we stick together. Haven't you ever Negative. seen a movie? It's too risky. At least this way, if one of us gets caught, the other can still achieve their mission. All right, tactical experience, David. I'll scout ahead. Let's see how you do. That would be good if we were all backups what for the same going? mission. <laughs> sure, I've still got some friends in the new frontier. But since we're all going to different places, being held. just because we'll one you. person gets caught doesn't mean that I everybody's him, not going to get caught. Taking that truck and getting the hell mm. out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Happy friendship. Yeah. Well, Keep that an didn't eye last on very David. well. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. 
I think we can handle them. It's the best way Give around this. Give me a this. little credit, Clem. I can handle David. I really hope you're right. That's interesting. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. Is David really I untrustworthy? Right call. Like, I understand why she would perceive him as untrustworthy, but he was following the rules. See you when I see you. So, now... Right. It's in his best interest to break the rules to get his family back. He's not just going to be like, David Oh, I talked to Joan and cut a deal and corner. Seems clear so we're going to throw all you in jail, move. but Kate can stay here. So die, Javi. Right, I don't right, see David yeah. making that call. Yeah, I agree. I, uh, I see, like, obviously now that new information has been found out, David has, a, uh, he's gone against the group. You know, but, you used to play much, shortstop for Baltimore. So. That Javier Garcia? Hmm. That's who we're looking for? Yeah. Oh. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid <laughs> horseshit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. He's gonna go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get L, we get Kate player. and Gabe, we get out. Yeah, that's the plan. What about our friends yep. there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. Let's hang out here for a while. Damn it. <laughs> Who says that? Distraction. Let's yeah. hang out right here for a while. Let's hang, yeah, let's stand in these two <laughs> exact same positions. <laughs> it's good. Uh, we'll be fine. <laughs> What's... Oh. Is it just one thing I can... Oh, oh, there's a couple of choices. Throw a rock at a transformer or at a window. I imagine a window. The window will make more noise, but the transformer... Well, I guess it's not, like, right above them, so it won't electrocute them or anything. Right, yeah. And, uh, also, the window, it kind of seems like, okay, you're, there's could potentially people inside this building. Throw a rocket, a transformer, I don't really see it. Well, if there's people like inside the building, that's not necessarily a good thing. That means more people could come out and be threats. We well, just I want mean, to distract that's... these guys. We don't want to create yeah. a whole freaking town hall meeting out here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I yeah, I don't know. My instincts lean in window. That's Could fine. be wrong, but we'll Maybe see, I guess. It, it'll make a more satisfying, destructive shattering sound. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's that's it. What the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Nice ski hat or whatever. Still got it. Oh. Okay, those guys definitely right. were acting like they were from another video game where characters are incredibly <laughs> stupid. They're, what's that? And then they just kind of stand in the middle of the road. Right, staring at that corner for the next five minutes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hi, Kate. Hey. Stop. What's up? Please stop flirting. Find out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. I mean, hanging out just... Oh. Hey, Gabe. Hobby. Gabe, hey, shush, 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 shush. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we're no, uh, super close now. No need for no need for alarm. We thought you were. Everyone, shut up. <laughs> yeah. I was super worried. All right, we've got to go. We'll yeah. talk about this later. <laughs> we have to leave, Gabe. Now. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just be quiet. They said you yeah. were be quiet. denied entry. Baseball. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Hmm. Where's my dad? Oh, Is okay. he coming? We'll, we'll meet him soon, soon I guess. <laughs> yeah, that should... Where is he? Don't All worry, right. buddy. All right, no We're need to yell, my friend. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. I know, Wait, Kate, right Holly? now, your, your best wishes well, you aren't gone, to go with him, this but... This woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Hmm. I got a bad let's, feeling Let's say David's her. handling it. She's a scary lady. But don't worry. Since David's when gonna is Joan a big scary lady? He knows what to do. <laughs> scary <laughs> how? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? 
Maybe David we have the word of like right the now. two least trustworthy Harvey, people in the game. I know you wanted oh, right. to try it here. Exactly. But this isn't our fight. We already they might be too Martin stupid to, to like now, single out somebody who isn't is their boss. But I, I just want what the family mean? safe. The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. We're not getting involved. We're What's leaving. Going on? <laughs> just yeah, said we exactly. Have to David's house. We're not doing that. We're what? getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Yeah. Getting out? That is out of David's. That's. You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? David's house isn't in Richmond. What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. Jesus. We have what? to get away Gabe. before he gets us Kate's all killed. Kate's been trying to divorce your dad what? for the last. He won't know where we are. For the entire okay. game. Basically. We can't go back to how things work. I don't, like right now. I say I'm we sorry. stay with David. I just can't. Yeah, I agree. I we're gonna go to David's house. I mean, I know Hi. Kate. It's the best bet we got. Doesn't like him it's right now, all but we got. Yeah, right now it's our best chance of survival. It seems. Right, we're gonna go to I David's house, or we're gonna it. go somewhere like question marky. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or just go <laughs> on the you. run for we'll the next foreseeable future. Sounds I don't good. know. What? No, it's it doesn't sound good. good. Everyone stayed together. <laughs> Ellie, don't get a stretcher. <laughs> Let's wheel out Captain Loyal here, so that yeah. okay, buddy. everyone She's is safe. Me. Not you. There's got to no, be a wheelchair it's in here. Not something. that. It's. You'll think it's stupid. What's odds up? are very high that you're right, Gabe. I just wish Clementine <laughs> was still with us. <laughs> we ran into her. Really? Yeah, with the truck, she's dead. Shut she up, let's go. Yeah. We're in an emergency. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wish she was I'll tell home. you. I'll tell you. I lied later you when know, we're I actually know. safe. She's tough, but I don't know. Clem could, could use, use a friend. friend. Nice to hear she's yeah. alright. If we run into her, be her she friend. She could really use a friend right now. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Bet you could. Shut up, Gabe. You're just horny. Let's we everybody go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's just okay. the hormones, my friend. <laughs> You'll get over it. <laughs> She's right, way out of your way, Gabe. Gabe first. You cannot keep oh. up. You cannot keep pace with that one. You woman. cannot handle Clem. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> she is worlds above you, my friend. I mean, you would think Gabe would actually be fairly badass for surviving you know, in the apocalypse land for, for four right? years, but they seem to have made what? him and Mariana, Mariana, fairly a brawl. Like, I only ever secluded. saw him truly happy when he was talking about being yeah, at war. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like they've sheltered them so much, it seems. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his I mean, life. Right now we are it's at war. To live life on the front line. Either that or he's not I'm like sure that. It's like Christmas every mm. morning. No one lives for war. Like. I'm sure it's not like that. You weren't there, Javi. Not like I was. And you That's true. Let's divorce him after everyone's safe <laughs> and alive. Kate oh, you could took your damn time. Tell us a little bit more about who we're trusting right now. Come on, we That's have true. Yeah, if there's like a key Wait thing a that explains David told us to come here. That David's not trustworthy. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. Oh God, do we, we trust this move. woman? Oh God. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Protect family first. Yeah. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. I don't know about. That. I totally disagree. They have guns. We'll be safe here. <laughs> don't worry. You know how she can't walk? I don't. I don't buy it. Yeah. I'll come back for you. No, Javi! Both of you. <laughs> you better. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, I don't see this going well. For sure. But I guess we'll see. Crime and punishment. Who's been punished? Everyone. <laughs> and who's in crime? I and mean, we still don't... Did we ever get a solid reason on why David just up and left his family and didn't come back? I don't like your tone, David. I don't... This is about well, he brother. said don't he pretend thought like you we don't were know gone by that about. time. You've after got months. a lot to answer for. Me? But he, yeah, actually never came back, it seems. Hobby, Kate, and Gabe, safe. I knew I could count on you, bro. Guys, let's not talk we're about them right now. Together. I got your back. Yeah, I've got your back. Of course. Kate and Gabe are safe. I got your back. Yep, we know this. Thank you. It means a lot that you do. 
I don't remember What's the bald chick's here? name, but I bet she shoots us both We're right now. We're just getting started. <laughs> yeah. And despite what we all agreed, you smuggled your brother back into Richmond. I mean... What happened to you, David? It hurts me to see you betray your own people. You've got some damn nerve. We <laughs> used to be so close. Now He's I hardly know people. who you are. He didn't betray anyone, Joan. He risked Did coming you? back to help Richmond. Can you just help give it? us the straight By story, exposing Joan? exposing you. Right. Right. What are you people talking about? So this is your play? First you accuse Badger, then you come after me. Would someone please explain what's going on? Really? I mean, this dude's I with can. AKs at the door, so... Lonnie? Like... Go ahead, Lonnie. Tell us. Just gonna pin it on Badger? They attacked us. Murdered Max and Badger. You son of a bitch. You're wow. welcome. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> was lucky. Are you kidding me? You have the nerve to accuse us? Their bodies are in the factory. See for yourself. Why don't you tell them what you were doing up there, Lonnie? Tell them how Joan ordered you to kill and loot. Is that true, Joan? <laughs> it's nothing but a smoke screen. A pretty damn transparent one, if you ask me. Lonnie. Please tell me this isn't true. I mean, how can anyone trust anyone at this point? Really? It's anyone's words against each other. We did that. Raided those communities. Oh. Hurt those people. So whose call because was it? Because David told us to. Not Joan. I'm sorry, David. I can't do this anymore. I can't <laughs> hurt anyone else. Please tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong. I am asking you, please, tell them the truth. This is bullshit. He's covering for Joe. <laughs> that lady just David, walked away just with, like, stop. Resident Evil 1 sound effects. We yeah. need this <laughs> <laughs> she totally did. We confronted him. Turn. It's just immediate Imagine. 180. And yeah. <laughs> we were done. We let him know. We did play Resident he Evil 1 on the channel. He didn't need us anymore. You know, there's always a zombie game Not going on of some sort. Here now. Yeah. It was pretty funny. Exactly, yeah. That's when he, <laughs> this channel has to have some sort of zombie thing happening at once. Or mantles, or enough. walkers, David, whatever you want to throw it, throw it about. Paul, you have to stop her. Or the blood from those raids, it's on your hands. What? Don't let Joan get away with this. She's Paul, playing, playing you? you? Yeah. She's working you like a puppet, man. Can't you see that? Don't let yourself get played into doing something you regret. Maybe we should sleep on this. Give everyone some time to cool down. I don't think there's time to be had here. No. Yeah. Don't try and drag him into your mess. What? The things you've done, they're an assault on what we built here. You and your brother, you're going to have to answer for them. I still have friends here. Allies. This won't stand. You brought this on yourself, David. I'm sorry to say it, but you're done here. They were our family. Wait, how many people David? are in on it? Yeah, really. How could you? If it's like most of the hierarchy is aware except David, then there's nothing you can do. I'll give you family! But... Alright, David, this is not a winning play. Yeah, this isn't the best course of action. Oh, oh wow. And that sounds like an end of the episode of Vade to Black. Yeah. If I've ever heard one. Oh no, wow. now here we are, unable to see our choices. <laughs> 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 oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh man so speaking of choices that we can't see yeah. one of our viewers <laughs> by the glorious name of pop tart milkman <laughs> has told us the choices for the end of the first episode for uh <laughs> walking dead new frontier so we can actually go over and talk about those choices now and then we're going to actually since he gave us the source for the choices, we can talk about the choices for this episode right after that. Right, right, exactly. So, uh, yes, the uh, <laughs> the gorgeous man that Park Tart Milk Man is um, actually <laughs> gave us, yeah, the choices. So, I guess the first major choice is: Did you stay the night at the junkyard when uh, when Javi and Javi and the family were talking about uh, you know spending the night? 54.6% of people chose to stay the night 
and 45.4 chose to head back out on the road. Oh, interesting. So that one is a pretty yeah. close split. We yeah, actually pretty... did choose to... Um... What to head back out on... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah we okay. chose to head back out on the road. Because we thought, I mean, if the, if the horde is coming... You don't want to be stationary for that, so. Uh, right, right. That's yeah. right. They were saying it. They wanted just one night of up to do, but yeah, we wanted to be safe, play it better safe than sorry, and we wanted to get going, to be right cautious. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so, so we were uh, in the minority, but it was a very close decision on that one. Yeah, for sure. Very, uh, like, is almost fifty-fifty on that front. So I guess yeah, it's just anyone's guess on how you want to go about it but we chose to play it safe um in that round and that, that makes route. sense as one of the major choices All yeah right. for sure what else next did they one, have next one was uh did you shoot the driver or let him go 52.2 oh. percent of people chose to let the driver go and 47.8 uh percent of people chose to shoot the driver so again very close 50 50 wow yeah another really uh, close almost. one that time we definitely shot the guy yeah, definitely shot the guy. Where it was even closer to 50-50 than the previous choice. But, uh, yes. You, we did choose, indeed, to uh, shoot the guy. Because, I mean, it does kind of make sense, especially when he was very adamant about, like, hurting us early on if it wasn't up to, if it was up to him, so... Right. You have this guy yeah. who's talking about how he's fantasizing about killing us on the drive and how if it were up to him we'd already be dead it's like okay you're clearly someone we can trust in a negotiating kind of situation so yeah he had right to, he had to go <laughs> yeah so he immediately yeah had to uh had to leave so uh, you you did a good job of uh departing him from this realm <laughs> and next is uh was the aftermath what was the aftermath of the shooting the shooting that wasn't prescott so, um, 94.3% of players got locked up. Holy crap. And only 5.7% of people were allowed to roam free. Huh, you have to probably make some very specific choices with Clem and that guy that she shot in order for to sure. end up walking around free then. Because that's it seems like, really weird. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It seems like you would have to side with, uh, with the guy, like, almost 100% of the time for Clem to not, like, like elevate the situation or anything like that yeah and it seems like it's a difficult set of calls a difficult set like several dialogue choices in a row it sounds like you have to make and all do it the right way and some of them may be counterintuitive in order to get it to all pan out for it to be that weighted 95 versus 5 yeah yeah exactly it's uh like one of the more ex like far leaning choices that uh, we've seen uh, for these games yeah, I don't um, so, mind getting locked up on in that one. Yeah, me neither. Like, I mean, it kind of like it was kind of odd because they were like kind of siding with us a little bit of like, well, I kind of agree he deserved it because he's a a hole or whatever, and they believed the story, but they still locked us up anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not sure how you go around that whole thing. Yeah, how it played out was a little bit unusual in that way, where at first. We had a, a situation where we did speak, we presented a united front with Clem, which like we were both saying the same sort of story where he kind of left them no choice and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But they locked him up anyway. But still, if it was one of those scenarios where we had not played either of the previous games and we had zero experience with Clem, then she might have appeared as like this completely reckless lunatic hothead that we couldn't trust and we might have just played it straight the whole way like oh uh, she kind of snapped at him and maybe it would have turned out in the five percent in that case right right yeah that's true because yeah we were playing from the perspective of like i mean obviously we have history with clem from previous games so we know what she's about and um obviously we're going to try and choose to uh side with her where it's where we see fit so yeah, I think that was definitely one of those points. Yeah, we don't have to play the game that way, but we have been. Like, it might have been truer to the game to just try and play it purely from Javi's point of view the whole way through. But yeah, we we had been... Like, when I initially bumped into Clem, I was the first one who started going down that route of like, Clem's awesome, I'm doing pro-Clem choices all the time, Clem's awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. The other one also is kind of that way, the prior choice where... 
if you're playing it from a video game perspective, then you might keep the guy alive. Because, well, in a video game, if you keep him alive, it might turn around, turn out that it works out in your benefit. Because, you know, Javi's the main character, he's not going to die. Do, 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 do. Maybe it'll work out in your favor, and it's like an investment kind of thing. But, <laughs> but if you're playing right. it from the realistic perspective of Javier, that dude is a major threat to your life and your family's life, so he's just got to go. So in that case, we played it from Javi's perspective. And in the following case, we kind of played it from like a, the video game perspective of, well, we're playing a game, we know Clem's awesome, and yay, Clem. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I could, yeah, we kind of, we go about it, I guess, when uh, when Clem's not really the foreground of the decision because we have so much uh, backstory with Clem that obviously you want the best for her and uh, we kind of know more about her than everyone else in this game uh, because we've had so much time with her. But in when it's just straight up Javi's choice, it seems, I mean, we've definitely leaned towards, you know, the reality of it all. Right. It's only uh, the Clem sure. choices that take us out of that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And early on, it was because I didn't know if Javi was going to be the main character or if Clem was, because Clem was the main character mm. in the previous game, and Clem is kind of, like, she was the only one that's been in all the games so far, so I thought the game might transition to, like, dual main characters or maybe put Javi in the back seat and have Clem be the main character, so that was part of the rationalization, or rationale. Mm. Well, uh, yeah, I guess... In this front, yeah, they're kind of sitting her more in the back seat, I guess. Yeah, she's um, definitely a side character now. Yeah, like you get, it's nice that you get to see her story still play out with uh, AJ and like that whole thing. But um, yeah, I would like to see it, I guess, a little bit more because right now they're really, they're really trying to puzzle piece it to try and get you to to put everything together. But I guess that adds to the ambiguity of can you trust David to the level that you that he says you can and all that kind of thing because she's still very um adamant about not trusting him even though like you said it could be just a personal thing that like she personally has something against him and will never see a around it but um or if she actually has some validity there right um, it's just the yeah. reasons that she gave so far aren't reasons for never trusting him it's just reasons right, to be right. pissed at him but yeah it's reasons to be very upset at him for sure but not a reason to like say that he will stab you in the back given any opportunity or something like right. that. Right. Like the only reason he kicked her out was even from her telling the story. It wasn't like he said, she said. It was from her point of view, he kicked her out because she was not following the rules. He was being loyal to New Frontier. It wasn't like a a total backstab, untrustworthy move of betrayal. So anyway, so what was the next choice? Yeah. Next choice was um who brought you to the junkyard? 48.7% of people went with Trip to the junkyard, and 51.3% of people went with Eleanor to the junkyard. Wow, another super close, down-the-middle kind of decision. Indeed, yeah. But we were on the... I mean, we were on the minority on that front. We went with Trip instead of Eleanor, which, to me, made more sense because Trip had a plan. Eleanor was like, don't worry about it. We'll get there. And... um yeah, when Eleanor family... seemed psycho when we first met her. She was just like, <laughs> wow, you're hot. Hey, want me to do everything for you and leave this place and, like, put my life in... I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> for me down. it was... Yeah, for me it was very much so, like, if you if you gave me a compelling argument to do that, I would totally be on board with it. But, right, like, her plan was like, yeah, I know a back way out. We could just, you know hop on out of here, it'll be there willy-nilly. I'm like, I don't know if that sounds good compared to Trip with, like, his truck and, like, guns. I don't know, I don't know that you're really convincing me a, a whole lot on that front. Yeah, and she's the town's doctor. Like, if she leaves, aren't they screwed? It just seemed like her being super willing to take off just didn't make any sense, and she wasn't... It could make sense. She could have just talked to Javi for, you know... 15 minutes and laid stuff out and said, oh yeah, okay, and we'll be back and it'll be no problem and this dude's here in case if I'm gone, no problem, you know. Like, she could have laid out something that made perfect sense. It's like, yeah, okay, great, let's go with her. But she didn't. It was She was just like plain coy and it didn't really make any sense. So, yeah, Trip was, 
the cooler or the more sensible decision it seemed like but yeah yeah i agree but apparently <laughs> apparently 50 percent of people did not really see it that way but hey that's why we do these to see uh different perspectives i guess yeah and um so the f- the next one or the final one for uh for episode one was did you escape with your family or stay with clementine and a surprising 84.1 percent of people stayed with clementine Huh. And uh, 15.9% of people escaped with the family. Well, it's interesting when they put it that way, because we weren't tr- trying to escape with the family so we would be safe. We were trying to go with the family to protect them. So Yeah, yeah, to be with, uh, to be with Kate, because she was obviously not looking well. Um, seemed like, uh, like it, we weren't sure. Obviously, it's a video game, so more than likely she would make it. But, you know, you want to be certain that she would or do as much as you can to make sure that she remains alive so <laughs> yeah you're going to want to go with them or with uh, your family to try and protect them if she uh, had an operation that was anything like what they showed in the game there was no way in hell she was going to make it like no, yeah i, highly, like, she's I like, highly doubt <laughs> that would have actually worked out while she's writhing in pain and like yeah. moving her body every which way like they would have torn every freaking organ <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we got the bullet out and we patched her up, but now she's missing her liver and her pancreas, so she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's too much, like, you sewed up that one spot, but now there's internal bleeding on everything else around it, so chances are she's going to die anyway. But, uh, yeah, that was, um, yeah, that was surprising for sure. But it definitely was, I guess, the phrasing because. Play, stayed with Clementine was like stand and fight that could have also protected the family but at the same time it's like when your niece just died and you have to be with your nephew that really can't handle the situation and Kate who is obviously writhing in pain and on the verge of death like you have to be there to try and help out as best you can so. yeah and Tripp's driving so if, if there are any other soldiers on the road or walkers or anything like you are the point man you have to be able to shoot and take them out or whatever so that the right. you know if there's if they run into any trouble whatsoever so yeah i didn't think it was more like punking out and screwing clem so much as right. it was you know be the the only one who can protect the family because no one else in the group can at the moment right and it kind of sucks that um that clem was the only person there but i mean of everyone there, I think she is the most capable of, of handling that situation. So I'm not like, I don't feel super terrible about leaving her behind alone, but I do feel a little bad about it. Um, I would have, like, obviously I wish there was another choice where we could have stayed with them and other people could have been able to protect our family, but that wasn't the situation at all. Um, or maybe even someone staying with her to try and protect her a little bit more or have each other's backs. But um, obviously you're dealt with the cards that, that you're dealt with, so you got to play them accordingly. So, uh, yeah, I feel like we made it the best call given that. Yeah, I think the choices. phrasing of the question on that one is a little bit off. So yeah, if you look yeah, at I it in, that, in those terms, it does make sense that the majority would, would go with Clem where right. if it's just right. a decision of your family is definitely safe, you're trying to run away and also be safe. Mm, yeah, or yeah. you're trying to, you know, fight and help Clem versus your family is an unknown. You're trying to save them and ensure that they are safe while Clem is taking, you know, making sure that you guys can have that escape route. So, right. yeah, I mean, it's could be just the wording on that one. Regardless, thank you very much, Pop-Tart Milkman. Yes, or, indeed. Thank you. You were a gentleman and a scholar, Pop Tart Milk Man. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate, or we appreciate you uh, coming through with those, um, with those percentages for us. Yes. And now we're actually going to dive into the discussion of the options for, or the choices for episode three. We're going to cover episode two, but we're probably going to do that a little bit later, probably at the end of episode four, so that we don't have this one period, this end of this one episode where it just goes on for 50 years and it's all every question that you've ever wanted to know you know what is the meaning of life and all that but uh, we might do that later um (laughs) if you're curious about our thoughts about the meaning of life you can check out our our video on dirt water and eagle dives 
and we don't at all cover the meaning of life. But you could glean, <laughs> you could glean what some of our thoughts on that. Yeah, Walking exactly. Man. If you read between the lines on that episode, I think you could come out with like a pretty decent understanding of what what our meaning of life is, or at least on certain issues. But anyway, yeah. so now we're gonna dive into the choices for episode three. Travis, do you have them? I do indeed. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> So uh, let's go with, so above the law, so three, first major choice is did you honor your brother's request of 65.7% of players demanded justice for Mariana's murder, and 34.3% of players kept Mariana's murder to themselves. Okay. So, All right. yeah, so David requested that we say nothing about it to uh, the higher-ups because he wanted to handle it himself, but... We, like 65.7% of players, decided that we need justice for uh, Mariana's murder. And, I mean, I, I think it's really crappy that David wanted to keep that, like, on the down low. I'm sure he would have done it, like, a very terrible and, <laughs> like, and threatening way to get back at Badger for what he did. But uh, I feel like just still trying to put it, keep it under wraps really sucks um when you're like the parent of the child that just got shot in the head yeah i mean i understand trying to be diplomatic and all but maybe it was because at that point he didn't 100 percent know for sure that badger mm. and max had done that because he definitely I looked guess... pissed when we were at the warehouse and then badger was like yeah, i'm gonna pop her again or whatever oh right 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 yeah that's true so that could have been it like it's it's like your word against badgers at that point and then it's like anyone's guess who's right or wrong in David's eyes. Um, or at least, like, even if there is some kind of sliver of, uh, of like, unsure um, that David could be, then, um, yeah, I could see why he'd be a bit more, try, be a bit more diplomatic about it. But, yeah, after, after Badger really uh, put his foot in his mouth when he, when he was talking about shooting Mariana, so... I mean, that's on him at that point. Really, yeah. But at least I mean, David it, definitely did not look like he was Captain Forgiveness right there. Right, right. Yeah, that's very true. He, uh, he definitely wanted to uh, have justice be, be done immediately on, after that. But uh, right, on to the next point here. Did you try to save AJ? Ooh, this was in the, uh, in the flashback with Clem. 84.9% of players injected HA with the medicine. Yeah, that and, makes uh, sense. Yeah, for sure. And only 15.1% of players did not. So, <laughs> yeah, it totally makes sense. Like, I could totally see why everyone would want to save AJ. Obviously, it's like the one thing you're supposed to care for in this world. And uh, you don't want it to die. Or you don't want AJ to die. So you're going to do whatever it takes, whatever the ramifications for your actions are. You're going to try and save him. So. Yeah, I honestly am a little bit worried about that 15%. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I would hope that part of that is due to the normalization of, oh, well, I played it through. I want to play through again and try the other choices just to see what happens. Because if if it's legit 15%, then are, are those 15% the kind of people who never question orders or like always follow a command that's from like a source of authority like without thinking at all because that's like you know just because they say like the, the child is in danger and it can't you know that doesn't mean he's right especially when the doctor is a freaking yeah. a drunk moron so <laughs> right yeah yeah he's like high on some kind of medication or whatever i mean you gotta you gotta start using your own judgment at that point it's like do i want this thing that I've cared for in the entirety of its life to to die, or do I want like to see it live and me face some ramifications for my actions? So, I yeah, mean, I I don't know. I could see, uh, yeah, how that'd be a little concerning. <laughs> I understand the ar the other side of the argument was okay. We got to make sure it AJ is a lost cause. It, he will not survive, and if we use this medicine here, then we won't have it available for other people. But it's still just like, if if there were, you know, 20,000, if it was done in modern times and there were a group of doctors and you had, you know, second opinion, third opinion, fourth, everyone agrees in the world that it's like a terminal scenario and the medicine can't do anything. 
mm-hmm. then maybe. <laughs> but right. with one freaking drunk loser doctor, <laughs> <laughs> I just you gotta you gotta roll the dice on the baby at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree. I mean, it's just just the sheer emotional bond that you have as well. It's like you're you're not gonna wanna let that go. I think um, without. I mean, fighting tooth and nail for it. And if you have a, a a choice of even, like, somewhat giving him some kind of comfort, even if that's, like, if he is going to die, but he'll be at least comfortable through it, I mean, that's enough um, to even... Like, because the doctor said, like, it'll give him temporary relief, but it's not going to do anything. Like, he's still going to die. Yeah. So even that temporary relief is still, still good to have, I think. Yeah, it would have been... Um, if- it would have been a harder choice if they had said, and there's five other people who need that medicine right now, their lives depend <laughs> yeah. on it. Then you've got right. a really tough choice. But as it was, yeah. I mean, it was still 85%, so it wasn't something where it was where it was 50-50, where you're really worried about the future of humanity. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. But sure. still, that 15%, like I said, I hope it's normalization, because, man, just because a doctor says something, don't believe that doctor. <laughs> make sure that that is a... Make sure that you... Get the answers that make sense and are, you know, tested the right way. Don't just blindly believe somebody who's wearing a coat. A coat doesn't always mean something. Yeah, and also don't believe them if they're super high. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. clearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, um, all right, on to the next, on to the next one. How did Badger die? So 66.7% of players destroyed Badger's skull. We are in that category. Okay. 5.4% of players killed Badger quickly. So I guess that's just one or two blows that that was it. Um, 22.6% of players left Badger to turn. Interesting. And 5.3% of players let someone else kill Badger. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a choice. But I guess us leaving him would have opened the door for like someone else killing him but it's interesting that they say someone else so maybe trip could kill him or david could kill him right yeah that's what i'm curious about is like are are these different people that you could then influence or is it just like well i guess they're just kind of uh keeping them all in the same category of like let someone else so i don't know who would get like the choice to do it or who you'd be able to, like, lean for them to do it. But, uh, yeah. It's just letting someone else do it I didn't even know was an option. Yeah. If we had the option to let David do it, I would have been super pro letting David do it. Because it was David's yeah, kid. Yeah. We cared for Mariana, but David was all... He was the real father. He should have had that opportunity. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, all right. I guess on to the next one. Um, did you accept Max's offer? And, um, yeah, 56.5% of players brought Max back to Richmond. Interesting. And 43.5% of players executed Max. Yeah, I don't see it going well if you bring him back. Even if he can get you in, who cares? Like, he, once you're there, he's not trustworthy. I mean, yeah, at this point, it's like... We're, I feel like it, it would be kind of back to where we are now with everything here. Because, like, no one's really trusting anybody, and people that are in the know already have a plan of, like, just tack it all on David. So, if we get there, and then Max is just like, oh, yeah, it was David's fault, it's not like you can just shoot him in front of everybody. Like, he's just another person that gets to add on to that plan that's already being enacted there. Well, we're not 100% sure that it isn't David. All we know is there's a difference of opinion between Joan and David... And Max called out on Joan, and David's on board with that. But David could have instructed his people to say, to to you know, to scapegoat Joan if there was ever a problem. So, mm-hmm. we're if if Clem's warnings pan out, where David is a complete untrustworthy scumbag, then that's still a possible outcome. Yeah, that's true. That is true. We are not at the end yet, so we don't know what happened between uh, well, like the one hundred percent truth yet anyway so uh, i guess there could definitely be a scenario where david was the one that set this up and tried to uh yeah and tried to force that um his people blame joan as the as the one person to blame 
uh, the scapegoat because that makes it easy for uh, the rest of the group to give David ultimate power or at least more power in that regard. Yeah, if Kate is right where he's just this warmongering guy, then it would make sense for his character to go in and want to, you know, get supplies from every single place out there and start stockpiling. It, it's, it's valid strategy. So yeah, if yeah, Clem is right true. that he's an untrustworthy dirtbag and Kate is right, he could still be the one who is who was calling the shots on that. But right, right. We'll have to that's find true. out for exactly, now. Exactly, yeah, that's true. I just don't I'm, think you can take Max back either way because, it's like, yeah, when he's out on his own and you have a gun to his head, he's willing to be your best friend and do anything to help you. But as soon as he's back in his own power base where he's got 200 allies... Yeah, then yeah. I think he's going to probably be one with the new frontier again. Yeah, yeah, that's true. He does flip-flop so much, it's hard to, like, gauge, because he there's elements of him that, like, he knows what he's doing is wrong, obviously, when they were at Pres- uh, Prescott right, or whatever. Like, he was like, come on, man, like, this isn't right. We shouldn't be doing this. We got to wait for orders, that kind of thing. And, um... And then there's other elements of it. It's just like, hey, F you. Like, this is, I'm going to do this regardless. And I know what I want and I'm going to take it kind of thing. So it's very like back and forth with him. So it's very hard to even trust what he's going to be doing. Is like, is he actively going to be doing it in his own best interest and tell you just whatever you want to hear? Or is he actually going to tell you the truth uh, regardless what that is? So. Um... All right, I guess yeah, the last one is who did you side with in the end? 53.3% of players stuck with David and 46.7% of players tried to leave with Kate. Hmm, interesting. That so one's close. really close, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I guess a lot of people um, in this, I guess it's not necessarily they don't have a distrust of David fully, but they try to stick with Kate no matter what, it seems. Yeah, well, so. that some people are going, following the love interest angle to try and stick with Kate for that reason, which makes sense if you're not as kind of freaked out by the sister-in-law, stepsister, whatever, <laughs> like that whole, <laughs> that whole downward spiral concept like we were, then, okay, fine. And they've been on the road together for four years now and, at the beginning, we presumed David was dead, so in that case, it's less of a taboo scenario going on or a betrayal angle it gets removed anyway. Right, but, right. But yeah, so if you're following through the love angle, then that makes more sense. If Kate had a plan, like we would have considered that too. We were more like going with, well, whoever's logical, <laughs> whoever's, we can't just go with Kate because she hates David and she has right, no yeah. actual destination in mind, so we're going to go with David and try and get to his house, which was a safe house, and try to go with that plan yeah exactly it's like at least we understand Kate's point of view is like okay you don't like David and you don't like I mean obviously he's done some terrible things to her in her eyes at least Um, so we can't trust her or can't trust David but at the same time like if you really feel these things you could tell us that I mean it's been four years I'd hope you're able to at least trust us with that information. And then um, we can make a more informed decision if he is like truly a monster and things that he's done in the past. But based on what she's told us right now, it's like, you don't have a plan. David has a plan. We're almost uh, like, we're almost like 100% more safe if we go with David's plan as opposed to just randomly going around the streets around this around Richmond and they're just kind of hoping that we stay alive so yeah it just makes more sense in that regard I think it's one of those things where the the writing doesn't work as well in this instance because in the other Walking Dead games you're constantly and in the show you're constantly being thrown together with people you've never met before so you have to try and size them up like everybody is everybody is a potential threat are these guys working an angle are they being truthful with us and they just want to try and create some sort of mutually beneficial existence or are they trying to work some angle and screw us over but in this right. case it's always a game of misinformation where oh 
do you trust the person or do you not? In this case, Javi and Kate have been together for four years and Kate already hated David before that. So it seems yeah. like they would have had every possible conversation about every bad thing David ever did. Like hmm. maybe not in the first year, but definitely by the fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel like she would be at least trying to be open with that information because especially if David wasn't around anymore, unless she's like really trying to save David's like the image that we have of David because we're like brothers like Javi and David or whatever. But at that point, it's like, especially when he comes back, you shouldn't be wanting to do that. If you really want to get away from him that badly and he has done like truly monstrous things to you, you got to let that crap be known like ASAP because there's no time for this back and forth. He said, she said kind of thing of like, oh, I just don't like him for X, Y, Z reason um, without like any kind of any kind of backing evidence or feelings for that right um, especially so. when it's your brother like you're gonna have yeah. this default um this default relationship with your brother where there's gonna be a certain amount of trust like they did show that they had a tough relationship growing up or whatever and and david smacked javi or whatnot went, but javi was being completely unreliable and irresponsible during that so it wasn't one of those scenarios where david was just totally abusive and beating the crap out of him for no reason or where David was always the one who was unreliable and Javi was trying to get him in, in line. So with, with the relationship that they showed in the past, David did not seem like this completely insane, untrustworthy person. He was the one who like kind of had his life more in gear or more, he was the more responsible one, even though he was like prone to whatever violence. So it just seems like Kate would have had to have told Javi beforehand or as soon as David, like he said, as soon as David is found to be alive, like tell him all the salient details, make sure Javi knows exactly why he cannot be trusted. Don't just be like, oh no, you can't trust David. He's bad. Oh, why? What's going on? You just don't understand. You weren't there. You didn't live with him. Like, dude, <laughs> make yeah, him understand. Yeah. And and it's still kind of contrived. Like I said, it's it's weird writing. They would have had these talks within that four-year period. It's not yeah. like a standard Walking Dead story where everybody you meet, you don't know. So in this case, it's kind of contrived. Like, they would know every, all the ins and outs by now. Right, yeah. I feel like if even if they wanted the, the, the people playing it to see it, like, if you either do a flashback or you just say just do the simple like Kate says oh I didn't want to ruin this image of David for you but he is really like this and he you list off all these things and it's like okay I mean I, I can understand why you would why you'd want to do that if you thought his brother was dead and that was like the image the last image in his mind was a positive one but right if you like if he isn't dead he is a really a monster he's back in your life and you have this inherent trust for him because you're brothers, you got to shake that, like, shake that really quick and really strong, and they're not doing that right now. So I'm more inclined to trust David because of that previous relationship as of, like, brotherhood, obviously. And uh, also because, I mean, I understand Kate doesn't like him, and they have differences, and it seems like Kate is gearing up to tell Javi something large, but right now she's not really like like she's not dropping anything of actual like evidence or any salient um, any salient details like you said so I guess we'll have to see truly what David is like in her eyes in the in the future future episodes yeah we will see is he really good or is he really bad we're gonna find out how he really is in everybody's eyes not just hers because we already kind of know what Kate's where her opinion lies but yes it looks like for now we have reached the end of this wonderful episode of the fucking dead yes indeed we will uh see you guys in the next episode for episode four looking forward to that because boy in typical night and day fashion they uh in typical walking dead fashion all night and day they uh left with quite the cliffhanger and i cannot wait to start the next episode yeah yeah it should be pretty damn good, so join us next time. Indeed, yes. See you guys in the next episode. Hey, 
more than personalized crap. Wow. Just your name is fine. Don't, don't <laughs> date it or anything. Make it worthless. Um, wow. That's. All right. Yeah. 